Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Accept others the way they are. You cannot change other people. To try to change them to fit what you want is like trying to change a dog into a cat or a cat into a horse. They are what they are, and you are what you are. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 199. NASDAQ is off 11. S&P is down 18. Gold contract trading down $27.10 at $17.08 an ounce. We had silver down 84 cents, $18.35 an ounce. Light sweet crude flat. $96.69 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note trading down 15 ticks at a price point of 118.14. The 30-year off 28 ticks at 139.15. And King Dollar. King Dollar's up 656 ticks trading out at 108.614. The euro is flat. One U.S. dollar to one euro. You get the pound at uh, 118 to 1 US dollar, and you get the yen at 138, almost 139 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you got? Well, this is going to get so intriguing, folks. And what I mean specifically by this is that we had another, another rejection of lower price. Now, this is, could be, <laughs> where do you hear this, man? This is what my thought process is, because this is a trip. So the way this market is trading right here, this is normally, okay, how you get into a longer-term low. And what I mean specifically is this, is that when you get, when you come down fast and furious, right? And then, you know, which we did, and we got into this, the SPY got into 362, okay? Bottom line, you, you rally for three or four days, you come back down, it doesn't get into the low. You go back up, you come back down again. And the more that you come back down, which we did again today, and you don't have sellers, it, the market is telling you the bottom line is that this thing wants higher price. So now here's the deviant part is that looking at this market and looking where we're at, July 14th, right? It's like, okay, you know, when you look at the market overall, meaning each year by year, you're coming into the weakest part of the year, right? And, <laughs> and I'm saying, oh, okay. So the question's gonna be, how far does this rally go? And we'll see how it hits. I can tell you, you know, Let's go to the Qs next, okay? Because if you take a look at the Qs, what you're gonna see, the Qs were down the most today, came back, roaring back. You know, the Tigers are talking about Apple. I'm gonna get into Apple, because Apple's an ABC up. Apple's taking out the B point. It's an ABC up, man. So we go to the Qs, we take a look at the Qs. The Qs had a low of uh, 279, you're 286. We go to the NQs, and we take a look at those future contracts. What you're gonna see is, Bottom line, you're down hard and fast. We're down at uh, 511, and we're uh, 260 points off of that level. Gold, go take a look at the gold market. What do you have with the gold? And you know, needless to say, this morning, I mean, everything was smoked in a, in a monster way. We take a look at gold. What do you have with gold? Gold got down to a price point of 1695. You've done, jeez, uh, this can't be, let me just look at this again, GC. Jeez. Okay, so there we go. 238,000 contracts. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So we get down to a price point of 1695. You're at 1707. Yeah, and this had light of volume yesterday. Yesterday we had big volume. We had 301,000 contracts yesterday. Today you get 238, and the bottom line is it's, it's above 17,450, and that's all it has to do to get the higher price. Now, let's go to the good old US dollar. We take a look at the dollar, and what you're gonna see, the dollar is running the markets, man. That's the bottom line. You're gonna take a look at this dollar, and you can see that when you're basically taking a look at it, that the correlation, and the next, uh, 
Next segment, I'm going to try to see if I can compare these. So you can see just tick for tick. I mean, it's tick for tick. That's how this thing's going inside the U.S. dollar. Uh, bottom line is that we made it up to that 109.294. Just backed off a little. You can see just a back off of a little. So watch this, folks, okay? A back off of just a little on the S&P, what it did is bring the S&P from 3723, okay, to 3788. You're talking about 50 points as it backs off. So, you know, we'll see on a longer term basis, okay, you know, is this dollar going to basically back down a bit and give us uh, some relief in the marketplace? Well, it's telling me that it is, and the reason I'm saying that is the aspect that as you, we don't have volume on side in, in the currencies, folks, okay? We do have volume in the indices, and the indices don't have any more sellers. So when you don't have any more sellers, it takes hardly any buying to get to much higher price. That, that's how it basically shakes out. Uh, the wild card in my own head at this particular point is the aspect, okay, are we talking about like a real long-term bottom, meaning two or three months. And we might, you know, because what I've found is that the more that you keep trying to jam bottoms and you cannot get them and you cannot get any more selling, that's when you get yourself a bounce that's pretty extraordinary. And we know by looking at the market, it's all about this good old U.S. dollar, you know. So we'll see what there's going to be any kind of uh, intervention. And it, the intervention, I suspect, would be coming in the yen because you can take a look at the yen. I mean, <laughs> the yen, uh, you talk about weakness, okay? It's just so weak, it's extraordinary, man. I mean, look at this. And so picture this, if you had, you know, yen. I mean, it went from four months ago, it was at 114. You know, bottom line, you know, you have four, 114 and you're at 138. That is, they are losing money hand over fist as to what they can buy. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials down 150. NASDAQ's off three, S&P's off 12. We'll come right back.